Hi, hello, good morning. It's been such a very long time. We didn't upload any videos. Hope all of you are safe and sound, having good health. Isn't it? Okay, fine. So today I'm planning to upload a video about process costing. One student asked me to upload a video on process costing. So I thought, okay, let me start complete some problems on process costing. Okay, what is process costing? First of all, where you can uh, see the word process. There are some goods which can be manufactured in different processes. That means the manufacturing process will not complete within one shot. It must pass through few processes. If you take any example, uh, it can be sugar. Uh, how do you get the sugar? Any of you having any idea? How do you get the sugar? Will you get directly? How do they manufacture? From sugar cane, they will manufacture. First, they will take out the juice. They will separate the juice and the scrap, whatever is there. And then it will go to the different processes. Then finally, you can see sugar. So each process, what is the expense incurred? That and all we will be learning from this chapter okay there are different steps in that uh, first we will solve one problem directly how to do solve a problem on process costing okay without any adjustments we will do and then slowly we will end up with the adjustments what type of adjustments will be there how to treat them that we will be learning from these videos okay let's see the question first yeah here is the question. Check the question once. Here they mentioned very clearly to complete manufacturing of one product, it has to pass through three processes. Okay, process one, two, and three. Whatever expenses they spent for to complete the manufacturing for all the three processes, that also they mentioned materials used, labor, and direct expenses. And the next transaction they mentioned clearly indirect expenses, which are amounted 42,900, they didn't give segregated amounts for each process it is totally given to you you have to apportion that okay how do you take the apportioning it should be on the basis of wages which is wages there is no wages labor will be treated as wages okay uh, since this is the first question let us solve such a small and simplest question for the next question let us go with the adjustments different kind of adjustments okay uh, if there is loss normal loss abnormal loss that and all we will do while doing the next problems okay so according to this there is no working progress in the starting also in the ending also okay and at the same time you have to find out what is the cost of finished goods you can see here what is the cost of finished goods that also you have to find out okay let us solve this question Let us solve the question. Yeah, you are going to prepare. You are going to find out what you are going to find out here. Process 1 account, process 2 account and process 3 account. I have given the format. This is the format process 1 account, particulars, amount, again particulars and amount. If we have more adjustment, then we will go for the inner amount column. Okay, so now as of now, we don't have any adjustment. I don't directly first transaction. What is the materials they have used for the process one? It is 75,000. Next for the process uh, for the labor, how much they have spent 45,000. Then direct expenses 12,000. No need to do anything. It's already given in the question itself. The same thing directly I have taken. The next one indirect expenses. The next one is indirect expenses how do you find out indirect expenses total amount given here 42,900 but they didn't give what is the amount for process 1 2 and 3 so first let us see and they mentioned very clearly it should be apportioned with the labor so for this 45,000 then for this 90,000 and the third one 30,000 okay this is the ratio so which one is the common here 15 is common here three times six times and two times now what is the ratio three six and two so three plus six plus two it will be three plus six plus two it will be 11 so for process one you will be taking three 
for process 2 you are taking 6 for process 3 you are taking 2 clear so now here how much we are taking 40 2900 into 3 divided by 11 how much you will get the amount is 11700 since we have come included everything let us see the total what is the total it is 1,43,700. The amount is 1,43,700. If you have normal loss, abnormal loss or anything extra is there that we will be showing credit side. Right? Nothing is there. So directly whatever amount you got that will be transferred to the process to account by, by process to account. Sorry. By process to account. What is the amount? 1,43,700. Now, when you are starting the second process, when you are starting the process to, how do you start the process to? First, what is the total cost you spent on process 1? That amount you will bring and after that you will move on to the next step. So, write down to process 1. One account. We never start with again 1, 2, 3, right? Once if you complete it till 10, next page will be starting with 11. Again, you will not write down all 1, 2, 3, 4s, right? In the same way, here also you will be following. So, write down here 1,43,700. Now, next again, materials we have 27,000, labor 90,000, direct expenses 30. 6,000 indirect expenses you have to find out. Same procedure you have to follow. 42,900 is the total amount into 6 divided by 11. How much you will get? It will be 23,400. Now do the total. There is nothing credit side. So do the total and write down 3,20,100. 3,20,100. Okay. So now here we will transfer this one to process 3 so write down by process 3 account some of them will write down transfer to process 3 account got it now our next process how it will start first it will start with the process 2 account amount of 3,20,000 and after that we will move on with the next transaction so let us do the process 3 account 3,20,100 sorry Next, what is the materials again? 9,000. Next, labor. It is 30,000. Next, 12,600 is direct expenses. Now, indirect expenses you have to calculate 42,900 into 2 by 11. How much you will get? It is 7,000. 800. When you do the total of these three, again, you should get 42,900. If you want, you can cross verify in between. Okay. Now, what is the total? The total will be treated as finished goods. So, what is the total here? 3,79,500 is the total. So, write down total 3,79,500. So, that is the total. So, with this, if you completed one small question about process 3, process account, process costing, one small question we have completed. Now, cross check clearly. Do we finished everything? The problem is fully completed. No, right? In the question, they asked in the last, you should find out. You should find out what is the cost per unit. This is the cost of total 1200 units. Now I want to find out total cost per each unit. So let me see first total number of units we manufactured. How much we manufactured? 1200. How much you spent for that? Total cost. What is the total cost? You spent 3,79,500. Now, how will you find out the cost per unit? Cost per unit is equal to 3,79,500 divided by 1,200. You will get 316.25. Got it? Is that clear? 
Is that clear? Please cross check once again everything. This is the process one account and this is process two account and down you have process three account. In this only one small adjustment was there. Indirect expenses they didn't give you directly. This is the done the apportionment you have to do and then you have to mention the amount. They give you the total amount. They didn't do the apportionment. You are supposed to do the apportionment. That is the only adjustment you are having in this next question. We will solve with so many adjustments. Okay. So once again, you just check the whole question. If you want, please take the screenshots. If you want, you can take the screenshot. Once again, I will show you the question. Please check the question once again. Okay. Next class, let us next in the next video only we will check more and uh, more adjustments. Okay, hope all of you are clear with this. Thank you, thank you very much. Please like and share and give a good comment. Thank you.